I read somewhere that you can't make up faces in your dreams. It's all just information that you've already taken in. No matter how foreign or strange a person looks, they've been before you before. Even if it was just a quick pass by on the way to coffee, you've seen them before. Face to face, I probably walked past you every day, slipping by your subplots because I've got to be on my way. Faces and faces. Behind your mask, you smile from ear to ear, trying to make me comfortable, yet you're radiating with fear. You illuminate with hopelessness and pop embers of despair, trying your best to make like normal, but your anxiety is all up in your hair. You feel like this experience is your own personal travesty, but this is literally all of our Tuesday. And you feed this egotistical narrative by having the gall to say it's worse for me than it is for you. It's worse for me because that's my truth. No, it's worse for you because all you're feeding on is your apartment walls. And yes, the year that should have been magic is getting incrementally tragic, but we are all here, existing and stuck in this time and in this space. I think this might be a special case where it's all right to be dissatisfied. It's all right to want to leave. It's all right to create a new wheel because the last one went flat. It's all right to dream and dream up something big, something wonderful, something that'll make the assholes lacking compassion and empathy feel violated. Dream up something so despicable they won't even want to exist in your presence anymore. Dream up rights or privilege for yourself. Dream up equality and freedom and decency and justice. Dream of yourself as more than just a myth. Dream so hard that it scares them. We have to dream so that we can escape this version of life. We have to dream not for self-indulgence, but dream as an act of love. Because if not, we'll start to rattle ourselves with ridiculousness like, is the world mad at me? Because it's hitting me with all this tragedy. The news is like assault and battery. What happened to reporting on NASCAR, the NBA, and Fashion Week? You just wanting to hear my dream is the current form of flattery that I crave. And someday I might just cave. But that's if and only if I am not a fighter. Because I have a gut feeling that someday we'll be brighter, we'll be warmer, we'll have to be lighter. To catch a ride on the hot air balloons of joy and laughter that we'll be riding on together again someday. And I swear to you, if I had my way, those brighter days would be today. But because it's not just up to me, him, her, you, they, but we, I will do my part to make sure that we can see past these nightmares so that we can see the miracle of impermanence. Rest assured, it's not permanent. It's just a bad dream waiting to be woken up from, waiting to be created out of, waiting to be hugged and cradled and kissed and loved in person. 
I want to be loved in person. I want to move with you in person. I want to breathe with you in person. Face to face to face. Not behind masks, but to face you in real life. The face from my dream. We're here dreaming together. No matter how alone it may seem. 